What's going on guys and girls? I am going to upgrade my mealworms of all things. Uh, oops. I'm going to upgrade my mealworms breeding system. Um, because right now, I don't know if you can see, I think you can see in that camera angle. They're in these three containers. I want to fix that. So, what I did was I went and bought a proper bag of oats. proper container to put said oats in. I watched a couple videos on YouTube, but this is pretty self-explanatory to make. I mean, if you know how to breed mealworms, it's kind of obvious that you kind of want to use one of these containers at some point because they're very sweet. They don't take up a lot of space. And I want to be able to use those containers for my um, crusty gecko babies because when they're born, I put them into those immediately for like a month, month and a half, and then I put them these bigger tanks, but that's a completely different story. Um, so, first step, if I can get this thing open, because sometimes they're weird, is to put some oats in there. Look at that, I see that. I get it first try. I'm falling. So, these oats, they look weird. What does it say? Say it. I don't know. I guess they're oats. I thought oats looked completely different. This list, this stuff looks completely different than what I've been putting in it. With them. I mean, I don't know if these are oats. <laughs> We're gonna go with it. If they're not, I'll figure it out after this video. And I imagine you guys will tell me in the comments. So. You'll be like, you dumb dumb, what's wrong with you? You guys are gonna do that either way. You dumb dumb, them are oats. Or you can be like, nah, you dumb dumb, them ain't oats. So, either way, it's cool. Tell me down below whether those are oats or not. Thanks for the comment. Shows you care. We're gonna put probably half an inch in here. Because these things are probably only two and a half inches deep. And I really don't want it that deep. So the top one's done. What we're going to do is we're going to put the beetles in the top. We're doing good. Stand by. I'm still getting beetles. You can run, but you cannot hide. Alright, so show you guys a picture of that real quick. So that's all that is. It's just about half an inch deep. I'm going to try that. Now we're going to fill the next one. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them in there. I just couldn't see them at first. We already saw the beetles. Now these are really small. Um, 
kind of see some in there. Real small. It's probably maybe 100 babies. Wasn't a lot. Uh, and this one's empty. We're just going to save this one for a grow out because eventually these guys will get big. We'll put them in here and then we'll clean that. And we'll just flip flop these until they grow out, until they're big enough. And we'll put them back in these ones. Um, and I'm just going to buy brand new ones for the babies because it's a lot easier than trying to clean these. And I don't want to worry about it, honestly. But you can see my super worms, kind of, really, not really. Now you can see my super worms, but we're going to leave them in there. What we're going to do is put you guys back. Hey Spike, you want super worms. I made sure when I bought this, trying to put something on this floor, who cares? Um, when I bought this, that it would fit right here. And it fits perfect. And I can sell it from the bottom one. Sweet. Now I put it right up against that heat pad. Put the heat pad on this one. Why is it on this side? Must have had a bad day. Usually I put the heat pads on the inside of the tanks so that I can put like these in there and it keeps the babies warm and I don't have to buy another heat pad for the baby. And if it gets too cold, I just turn the heat around. I have two heaters that I put in here. One that will run on its own on a timer or on a temperature and then I have that one that I usually turn on when I come in here but it's really warm so it's off. But. That's pretty much it. I wonder if this will fit on top. Probably not. I didn't measure for that. Oh wow, it fits. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. So come over. Check this out. A little bit of an upgrade. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.